Greetings, my friends. This is Mayorland and, and, Com and Comet. How are my you? My son. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good. Oh, good. We're going to do some real beginner work with Dominions because mm -hmm. Comet played a little bit of Dominions for a couple, three years ago, and that's it. A few people may be able to remember. Perhaps they will. So we're, we'll start off. We'll make a game, and uh, just for fun, I'm going to pick the Pelaware map. Not a lot of maps issued so far with the game, although you can use Dominion's four maps. But we'll go with Delaware. Mm -hmm. Good for six to ten players. We're going to play a hot seat co-op. Yep. With a bunch of AIs. So. so. Alright, give it a name. Uh, let's see. Or you can go C and M if you want. What does that stand for? Comet and Mare. C and M. C. I don't, you can't use fancy symbols though, oh. so just go the Oops. word and. I guess we're in the French. Oh, are we? Oh, what annoying. No. Ha <laughs> My spelling is off, apparently. There Same we go. Dem. That'll work. Boom. Let's go early ages, because you wanted sure. to play Niflheim. The early ages are full of magic and civilization at, is at its beginning. Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, is it? Whatever. Civilization right. is at its beginning, so cities have just oh, started. full of magic. I was just like thinking... The yeah. Bleh. Okay. I don't think my brain is working. Anyway, no, let's just okay. go. So, let's set up players. Yeah, it's set for two humans. And then click and add a player. Add new. And change it to an AI. Let's go to a little bit more. Normal? Go to one up. Difficult. Difficult. Yeah. And then here's a trick. If you push N, it'll add more players. So, let's go to uh, eight total. So there's five. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Sounds good. AI type. What does that mean? Um, go ahead and look click on it. Standard defensive. Oh, that's kinda cool. Yeah. That, it's behavior. Yeah, it's Let's a behavior concept. Yeah. Works for me, and I don't care the nations. You pick okay. your nation. Okay, so I see it there. there. Yeah, there's, there's a Niflheim. lot, there's more than ever. Whoa. And Spurly. Niflheim is the frost okay. giants. I've watched you play early a little. It also looks fun. It does. Um, lots of different nations. Uh, sometimes it's a case of flavor. Sometimes it's specific regional um, mythology. Now, Arcocephaly is Greek. Hmm. Um, Ermor is Roman. Ulm is German. Marverni is Celtic. Druids. Sormadia, I think... If it says I remember, Amazon Queens. Yeah, so it's from the Greek legends of the Amazons. Chin hmm. Chi is Chinese. Machak is African, I think from the Zulu area. Mickland yep. is what would be um, Central America, so hmm. Aztec. Yeah. Abyssia, I don't know if it comes from a it's nation. Children of Flame. Right. Or lava Bomber, I have no idea. No. That sounds kind of cool, though. Yeah. Kalem are flying people. Oh, I've seen the city. Yeah. The lizard men. Yeah, they're kind of cool. Pangaea the comes. Pale ones. They are one eyed kind of troglodytes. Kinda I wouldn't like, call them cyclopses because they live underground. Hmm. Oh, kind of like from, um, what's it called? Conquest of Elysium. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's the same ones in Conquest of Elysium. Yeah, me and Mare yeah. played a bit of that. Hot we sure seat. did. Tirnanog are the Celtic elves. I don't know. These guys seem fun. Look fun. They are neat. You want to try them? Sure. Let's okay, go with you the try pale, them. Pale ones. Which one do you want? Um, I haven't played them in a long time. They're an old favorite of mine. I want to play Kalesa. Kalesa. Yeah, which is from India, and it's the uh, the it's planet of the apes. Yeah, it's the Bandar log, the mythical ape people, plus the kind of Bodhisattva or whatever. But I'm not an expert on the mythology, but that's what I'll play. Get ready, we're going to reenact um, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I suppose that's exactly fun. what we're going to do. I never even watched the movie. No? I don't think it was good. Pretty good. I don't know if it was good or not. So this uh, screen... What's this? Well, this is your prep oh, this screen. Is me. Yeah, this is you. In dark caverns under the roots of the earth, a strange kind of one-eyed humanoid has evolved. Untouched by the sun, they have become known to humans as the pale ones. The pale ones are gifted with perfect dark vision and gills and inhabit underwater rivers and lakes as well as cavernous halls. Pale ones never stop growing and ancient ones can grow to the huge proportions. 
There we go. Got it out. Yay. The wisest of the ancient ones are known as the oracles, priest mages of great power. The oracles are gathering in a great ga- cavernous hall where they divide in the fate of the pale ones. Sick. Yeah. Can't wait. So, Death. this screen is upgraded a bit from Dominions 4, in mm. my opinion, and quite a bit more helpful. So, you can actually look at your units here, and uh, you can right-click on them and see their details. Mm. See? So. Th- oh, yeah. Yeah. So, that's a basic scout. Need not eat. Right. Cold-blooded, stealthy. Ooh, stealth. Well, that's mm-hmm. a scout, so siege. always good. Scout is siege bonus, apparently. All of the all of the Agarthans have siege bonus, which means mm. they tear down walls really quick, um, and they can all see in the dark. They're from underground, but go back to any any one of them. These are all the commanders, right? So your your magi start number six and so on. Ancient lord. Yeah, he's a big commander. Troglodyte. Right. So Earth if, reader. That he sounds magical. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and right click. So he's your basic um, earth mage. Two earth, one priest, priest level one. And some randoms. Random. Go ahead and click on the randoms to see which randoms he gets. So he can get fire, water, and death. Death. Yeah. So kind of a good <laughs> combo. Now a really important thing we need to know, because we're Sick. about to design the pretender, is mm-hmm. the cold blooded. That means we want to be sure we pick heat scale. Mm. Because they get a severe penalty to fatigue. If you remember how fatigue works, every time they fight, they take some fatigue, and if they hit 100, they go unconscious, which means they can't do a thing. I think I remember that. Do you remember that, how a fatigue works? Okay. Wet one. <laughs> yeah, well, they're kind of handy if you're going to try to. But you oh, should know orcs. that all of the Agarthans, except the um, troglodytes are amphibious. Mm. Right click on the troglodyte. I'm pretty sure they're not amphibious. No. He's kind of... Cool. Well, he has no head. His face is in his chest. Oh. Yeah. A little bizarre. I don't usually trample, use them. animal, and dark vision. Do you remember eh. how trample works? They stomp over top of things. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. It is, but the way it works depends on their size. And this is neat because you click on hit points. Oh, there's a size four. Mm-hmm. So they can trample anything smaller. Mm. Ordinary soldiers are two. Uh, the gi- larger monkeys are three. So four is big enough to trample most things. I believe cavalry is three. Mm. So that's useful. It's instead of their attack, they just trample over things. But he- um, Troglodytes are huge, stupid, subterranean beings of incredible, st- of great strength. Cool. Sometimes yeah. side with the pale ones. I don't usually use them, but now we have to think about, do you remember what the objective of the game is? I I remember. mean, other than to win. Do you remember how you win? Besides kill everybody else. Yeah, now. kill everybody else is one way. And then the second way is usually most people play with thrones or victory points. So if you take over oh, yeah, the majority of the thrones, you can win. But the third way to win is the name of the game, Dominions. Hmm. You can win by being the last pretender god with worshippers. Hmm. Okay, your dominion. Your dominion is how much belief the people have in you. So, whether they think you're an actual god. Right. Which obviously I am because I'm so amazing. Well, you're only a pretender... <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> well, you're only a pretender god at the beginning. Yeah. So, now we could... If you want, we can look at your units, but I know that you've got a number of sacred units. These four big tall guys, the big uh, ancient ones, are all sacred. Mm-hmm. You remember what sacred means? Um, it means they can really. be blessed. Oh. Okay, so right click on, this is units down here, so right click on, uh, say, the hurler. They're kind of cool. Okay, so they throw, they throw big boulders and fight with their fists. Important things are they're big, lots of hit points, cost quite a lot of gold, but we should know they got pretty bad attack and defense. Average is a 10. So they don't hit terribly well. Uh, But the rocks are kind of neat. And the range of the rocks is based on their strength. And they do a lot of damage. I mean, Mm. standard damage is... um, Strength also affects your damage, so yeah. you add the damage of the weapon to your strength to get the total damage. So that's kind of cool. But the key we were looking at, go back to them for a sec. Oh, 
Yeah. There. They're sacred. Oh, see. So, you, so, so can priests bless can bless them. And that means that if you build a bless into your pretender god, then, uh, then you can bless them in combat. So that's one of the biggest design decisions when you're preparing the game, is what you're going to use as a pretender god mm. and what bless. So what if you had a big giant, doesn't hit very well, um, what do you think would be a good thing to give it as a, as a bless? I mean, do you remember any of the ideas? I believe there's like something accuracy. There's, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. There's, there's also extra attack, extra strength. Extra strength, there's, extra attack. Yeah. There's regeneration. Mm, yeah. And you mentioned that earlier. Right. Right. And there's also extra protection or extra armor mm. in a couple different ways. One thing that isn't shown here. Oh, here it is. <coughs> Sorry. That's okay. Agartha gets a bless bonus for earth blesses of an extra two free points. Hmm. So that kind of means you're going to want to pick earth blessing if you're going to do blessing. I strongly recommend that with Agartha you go for blessings. Okay. So let's... Um, let's you got let's any go. other questions here? Not well, really. The other thing it can tell you is what magic gems you earn from what your home sites you? uh, but I remember um, these just right click on them and it'll tell you so that gives you a death gen a turn and lets you hire the seal guard Bring that one there gives you a water gem a turn um, sage and great ohm yeah ohm ohm yeah ohm oh. and this oh. one should give you earth gems Three earth and a fire. And a fire. So you're going to oh, get nice. three earth, one fire, one water, one death a turn. And of it's gems. recruitment of all my oracles. Your oracles, yeah. And they're your powerful mages. Yeah. Big. Super mages. Yeah, yeah. And actually, another neat thing about all of them, and this is kind of helpful, they're all really good priests. Mm, so you well, priest yeah. level three. And the difference is they're secondary magic. They're all earth three. With a with a secondary, so these guys get one. But one thing you should note: these are called capital only, because they can only be made where you have. Well, it's not the roots of the earth; it's this other one, that one there, the halls of oracles. So you can only make them at your home castle. Mm. So you yeah. got a pretty limited number of them. Yeah. Um, another thing that's really powerful with the Gartha, these guys, the great ohms, they're very expensive. Ooh. But they're That's mind so nice. blasters. They've got ranged mind blast. Hmm. Life drains their close up attack. Right? It doesn't have a range. Oh. But mind blast has a range of 100, always hits, and does paralyzed damage. And oh, a little nice. bit of other damage. It says here it only does yeah. one damage, but armor negating is useful. It, armor doesn't help it, and it's always one plus a roll. So it'll be one plus a bit. So you can do some damage with that. Mm. But the paralyze is the most important part. So they're a really powerful unit. The only other thing, uh, Rillier, or Riley, the, the oh, squid yeah. heads, they get mind blasters as well. That's the only ranged units that Agartha gets. They don't get any archers or crossbows or anything. Mm. Um, so that's a bit of a weakness. Right, right. Ready so you ready to anything? move on? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Okay. So what oh. do you think? You want to go with the blast? Sure. It seems like a good idea. All right. Well, go up here. Select physical form. It's it's defaulted to right now the blood fountain. Not a great choice. So when you're doing your pretender, you kind of, in my opinion, you got three or maybe four ways to do it. One is go for a big blast. Another is to go for a fighting pretender that can go out and conquer places at the beginning before your troops are built. Mm. And the third way is to do a magic powerful pretender that can cast lots of spells in combat. Do you want to go with a big blast? Are these ones the big blast? Well, the big blast can be, these are what they call immobiles at the top there, the Dominion Four. They start with four candle Dominion. That's mm. very useful. Um, but they can never move except by teleport which is a spell in the game. So um, you might want to go with one of those. So if we right click, we can see that's Earth. 
So that would be a great way to go to lots of earth magic. Yeah. And the more they start with, the cheaper high level earth gets. Hmm. Or a little bit, and the other thing to watch is the cost. So immobiles are relatively cheap. Now, the earth made flesh could fight and also gets earth and water. It's pretty expensive though. It is, but you may end up with a better better choices. Mm -hmm. Does so, he have bless or no? Well, all pretenders, the bless comes from your choice of magic. So okay. let's let's do an example. I think maybe you know it would be fun to use a thematic pretender. Mm. Just for fun. Yeah. That sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, well go with the earth made flesh. Sure. It's this. I don't know. All right. So we've got only 165 points left. Now the, there's a new thing in Dominions 5. Some blesses are only available when the pretender is on the board or in the game called incarnate. Mm -hmm. So Okay. To get a yeah. feel for it, you have to have a minimum of 4 magic in the in a path to get blesses. So get yourself 4 earth. I see, yeah, I seem to remember that earth. And see it jumps up automatically. Earth. To six. Well, you, they did a neat thing. All of the different nations get their own um, priest spells now, rather than only the generic spells. And that's an additional bit of flavor. So look at this. Pull from the grave is an attack spell with a small area of effect, does a little bit of magic damage, and uh, can then grip one person. So... Uh, it's a banish spell, works on undead, but also grips them. So it's an enhanced banish spell. Hmm. Like turn undead from the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. And that's oh, their yeah. specialty, right? And the other one you got Word of Stone. So it paralyzes and then runs and then has the chance as well to petrify, which is instant death. Hmm. <laughs> See? So that's kind of cool. They added that and it's fun. But if we also want to then add for water, now you can get water bless and earth bless. Now we can do some pretty cool easy blesses incarnate only. This is the one to understand. You can have your pretender wake up later, either a year later or roughly three years later. Gives you more points to spend, but it also means you can't bless with your big blesses until that comes. Mm. Now, um, hard skin. Oops, I wanted to show what it did. Let's do that again. Hard skin, if we can look at its... Uh, oh, I thought it was... Oh, there we go. It gives an extra five armor mm. on the natural armor. That's okay. This fortitude is significantly better. They take half damage from all weapons. That's actually better than more armor, usually. Oh. But we're going to have to get... It costs seven, so we need a little bit more earth magic. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so now we got a tough decision. Can we can we use our troops to expand um, until this guy wakes up? If we do, we can make him dormant and he won't wake up for a year. But that gives us a ton more points for design. Mm. That makes sense? Yeah. Okay. Got any more questions? Um questions from this part um how come these customs priest spells i did we did have the earth ones how come we don't have those anymore or are they actually there just probably because i bought more water than earth oh but i think we want to go with fortitude bless I, I strongly recommend it from everything my friends have told me that seems like a good idea and it only costs us just a little bit more um then we go back to the earth ones because we got more earth and water don't we need to do something with them? Yeah, let's pick our blesses. Well, we do, but let's pick our blesses first. Blesses. Just for fun. So let's go fortitude. Sure. And then you got four more bless points from the water magic. Mm. So go ahead. And let's see. We got water walking, cold resistance, and defense skill. Well, these big giants aren't helped much by defense skill. Cold resistance might be nice. Yeah. Although it's kind of awkward. Sorry, I'm, re I'm really tired. Are you getting <laughs> I don't tired? Know why. Well, we'll just try to finish your pretender and go from there. Yeah. I guess four points of water is 
a little bit awkward because um, we can't really spend all four. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, but cold resistance is definitely good. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Here's here's kind of the optimal choices. Defense skill, even two defense does help. Mm. So, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Okay. Now what we need to do is work on our dominion. Now I told you we gotta have some heat. Okay. Right? Because if we don't, so we'll go at least one heat. Heat actually gives you more points because it reduces your income. Hmm. The other thing we've got to have is a little bit more dominion because you can only buy as many um, blessable sacred troops as you have dominion. Okay, so one more? No, I would go maybe try for six. Yeah, let's try that. That's not bad. And then we have a tricky choice now of balancing the rest. If you want lots of money, growth is the best option. If you want more magic, then you want magic or luck. But I'm just going to, because this is a little bit complicated, let's uh, go at least one in order. And let's go for lots of gold, because your mages are expensive. Gold. So this? There's lots of growth. Let's go three in the growth. Got and how 81. many? Well, that's two more scales. Um, I think we could drop magic by one. So that's a right click to go to drain. That'll reduce our um, that'll reduce our uh, research, but it actually will also it actually makes our mind blasters a little more effective. Mm. And then I would go for some production, which is resources, because some of your guys are pretty pricey. We can probably put this keep this at zero. Well, the other thing we can do is we can go uh, we can go hotter to get more points. Okay. Go ahead. Go harder. And so then we can get more production and more order. Um, and it all if helps I just gave us, like, did this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Should it's I just. It's not a bad idea. That? Yeah, I would. And then I would get as much order and production as you can. Because it's all gold and all good. I feel like we should keep this as zero. Okay, go ahead and put that back to zero. Like. Okay, I think you're good. Earth minus. Plus we don't have point sixty recruitment. That Re seems recruitment good. points are really important. They added those. It used to be just gold and resources, but now it's yeah. three different ones. So well, ours are doing pretty good. Yeah. So okay. Well, sound pretty good. Mm-hmm. So let's create them. Okay. And Two give them a name. Little big. Little big. Okay, that's fun. I like that. Or no, Little Big's gun. Fun. <laughs> you should or call him Little John. Mr. Tiny. Mr. Tiny. That's even better. Gonna go with a capital on Tiny? Yep. Okay. Cool. That's fun. <laughs> I'll praise Mr. Tiny. All right. All now right. it's my turn. Now, oh, should we pause? Uh, let's, let's stop here and prep this and then we'll move on after this is prepared okay. just to make sure we don't have trouble cool all right okay. so this um, is Kalesa, which i've played many times through dominions 3 and dominions 4 but there's been a lot of changes um yeah. with the blast system which really affects them one of the key things it's another earth nation if you click on the the second from the left one more over that's the Yaksha. That's the big mage. Um, three earth and nature. So, similar to you, a oh. lot of possibility for earth. Oh yeah, it's kind of like my, the kind of lower level. Well, they're not as magician. big. They're physically smaller. They're size three, so not as many hit points. Mm. But they fight really well. But you're not generally going to fight with a... Yeah, they're quite expensive. Um, but then not as expensive. Yours, I think, are 450 your big oracles. The first heat scale plus two. Mm -hmm. But one of the clinchers, if you right click on this guy here, um, this dude. the Yavanna, yeah, they don't have any armor. So see a protection of one. Mm. So that is a challenge if you're going to use them in many kinds of fighting, how you're going to deal with that to keep them alive. On the other hand, if you click on the yellow icon, or look at the yellow, that's awe. Oh. 
what awe means is somebody trying to attack them has to make a roll against their morale or draw an attack. Well, that can cut out often a good half of their um, hits on them, even attempts. Mm. That can keep them alive a lot. On the on the tricky part, they're magic beings, so mm -hmm. only some commanders can lead them. That's oh. awkward. Yeah, and you do get magic commanders. So I think I'm going to try for a bless to make the the Yavanas and or or maybe I'll make. They also have a sacred archer. Exit here and look at sacred. that guy. Yeah, this that's guy? the Yavana archer. Now again, they're oh, naked. Oh, he's got the same things. So. Mm-hmm. They actually don't fight too bad. Daggers and kicks are nothing special, but with their high strength, fairly high attack and defense, they um, they fight pretty good, all things mm. considered. So we either have to make them um, uh, more powerful on their bow, but I'm going to try doing a ranged bless or a bless that'll work with the bow. So oh. I feel like trying it. Let's just see if it'll work. We can play around. I know this nation really well, so if you have any questions, little monkeys. the little marcatas, yeah, they're pretty funny. Um, they can work, interestingly enough. Yep. One of the things Just that the works for them monkey. is their defense skill of 14 means they're really hard to hit. Hmm. They do almost no damage, <laughs> but you can use them as a front line, and they're really cheap at 5 gold. So yeah. you can buy a heck of, and they're size you can 1. Just buy a swarm. Right. And a square in the game holds six size points. So one battle square on the map, on the oh. battle map, can hold three ordinary size guys, size two, or six of those little marcatas. That's not such a bad thing. I saw this mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mount Kalesi, Yeah. Two earth gems. Yeah. Cool. And, and then the lotus garden, which is Yakata, Yush, Yak, Yak, Yaksha, and Yakshini. Right. Yakshinis are the water mage version of the Aksha. Mm. And it provides two nature and two astral. I believe cool. those are astral pearls. Yeah. yeah nature gems. And astral. you get a lot of astral because you got the gurus, which are good astral mages. Yeah. Yeah. Gurus. Literally gurus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So two astral and a nature. So you got earth, water, na astral, and nature. So that's good stuff. Okay. Ready to? Yeah, go ahead. I guess ahead. he counts as an animal. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> um, animals' effect is certain spells work on animals and nothing else. There's a lot of design points. Oh, it's well, yeah, but default. you've you've got a really cheap pretender. That's the I think the great druid oh, yeah. or something. Well, here I'll give the the mouse and keyboard to you so you can choose your things. Okay, well, I'm I might do something Destroyer funky. Worlds. You know, I'm thinking I might do something funky. And try a death, death and air bless. Um, and I may do it. I'm going to try it dormant and see what I can get away with. So, somewhere here, there's some options under death blesses. Uh, I'm wondering, withering weapons, that could be useful, but I thought, oh, death weapons is way the heck up there. How much does that cost? That's a ton. Eight. Oof, that's pricey. You know, I almost should have backed up. Whoops, I don't know if I can. It would be interesting to try air blasts and death blasts, but what other options do I have? Monolith is earth and astral. Okay, those always work. If I'm going to go bless, I'm probably going to pick one of these, uh, either in a mobile or what's called a titan. This guy's fire, earth, and astral. Size of six. Yeah, that's the <laughs> biggest size in the game, so it's a giant. This is earth and blood. Right, that's the Devi. Uh, this one's new. Dharmapala of the Underworld. Death and fire. Two death, one fire. Ooh, that mm, looks fun. I wonder if I could do funky things with that. He's big. Yeah, he's got fear. And he's got a couple dudes. Fire resistant. And yeah, that'll it'll probably tell you that when he goes into battle, these guys come with him. Mm. We'll say something in the description about that. That's a long um, description, though. Demonic servants. Yeah. I'm not going to read it all, but that's not too critical because I'm not planning to use them to fight. I'm planning to... So I got... What's this? Fire... Fire is a great way to add more power. Yeah. But it doesn't help you stay alive. Still, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try something funny. 
I'm going to try. Well, fear bless is oh awfully expensive. This is going to be really. Oh, I can't get the fear. Reforming flesh. What does this do? Bless undead them. units will regenerate. Oh, I don't have undead units. Reanimators. Any living enemy. Will come back as a soulless. Hmm. Soulless I don't being know what that. Stygian flesh. Oh, that gives them 10 effectively armor. That's a pretty good option. Hmm. Um, and a lot cheaper. Yeah. I wonder if I should do that. That that would be a great deal cheaper. I think that was and five, then, wasn't it? What's the decree of the underworld? Uh, where did you see that? It's in the special ones. Custom. Oh, okay. It's a, oh, banner, it's just spell, a banner spell. But it does bewilderment as its extra damage. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Large number of undead uh, under beatings with their minds intact may find themselves unable to resist and act erratically. Okay, well that's interesting. But that would give me Stygian Flash. Um, which is fairly cheap and effective. Mm. Although, if I go Withering Weapons, that's not Incarnate, and I'd have that at the beginning. Yeah. This is an odd choice. Withering Weapons is kind of slow. It can make them age quickly. But... Yeah, that's a tricky one. I'm not sure what I want to do. I'd really like to get fear, but it's crazy expensive. Now I can have fear. But that's all. Yeah, but that would be so powerful. Mm. Put fear. Yeah. I'm going to do it just yeah. for fun. But just a second. I got to see. If I'm going to go with fear, I'm going to go with the immobile demi lich. Um, You're at negative 10. Oh, that's because you have to race back up. Yeah, but fear bless. Well, this isn't an archer bless, though. I was going to go with an Archer Bless, wasn't I? Mm. I don't know. I don't think this is... If I want to go with an Archer Bless, I don't want Fear. I think what I want is uh, Air. Let's see what I get here. That gives me Air Shield. Thunder Weapons. Thunder Weapons. That's pretty powerful. It's expensive stuff. Windwalker. But look at how bad I am for points now. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a long time. You know what? I'm just going to do something funky. And I'm going to try going with a fear bless. <laughs> it won't come out till later. And a little bit of fire. What can I get for a fire bless? No. Attack skill. Major uh, fire resistance. Superior morale. But where's the flaming okay. weapons? Oh, they're way up there. Uh, that's expensive. Yeah. But, all right. Well, let's see if we can pull it off anyway at all. Just for the heck You're of it. negative 93. <laughs> Well, that's okay. You can pay for this. Now, one thing, I can definitely go way down on the sloth, and I can go for more heat, and now I have only 25 points left. That make me think, make things a bit tough for you with three sloth. Yeah, it does. I can get, I can go a little bit of order. Um, mm. I don't know. This is kind of crazy, but maybe, maybe I we'll just know. try it. I don't know. If, I don't know. This uh, is, maybe. Do you think this makes sense? It's pretty pricey. It's oh, wait, but the fear is completely useless for archers. So that's the wrong bless for archers. If I want archers... Like, you may want death weapons, or withering weapons, because that would... Well, it's a lot cheaper. Oh, boy, look oh, at... Yeah, oh, that's way cheaper. Think. Okay, well, let's get some... <clears throat> let's get some growth. Yeah. Well, that helps some a bit. Order. That helps a lot. Can I get one more... No, but what happens if... Oh, if I go to a Dominion of 5, I can get one more scale. All right, I'm going to go be for nice. order. Well, maybe I'll drop the order and I'll go growth. And I think I'm going to take a little misfortune and then order. Hmm. All right, so both of these are incarnate. So they won't do any good until after turn 12. Well, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. And this guy's... I don't know. I thought Decree of the Underworld would be like... um. If anybody's played uh, Diablo th Diablo Three Reaper of Souls, I thought he would let D Decree of the Underworld would be a thing where he pulls something like what uh, the Angel of Death does in the beginning, where he like sucks their souls out. And oh, I their see. Bodies away. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that there's a spell like that in Death Magic. Hmm. But not in holy magic. Um, holy magic, the priest magic, usually banishes to get rid of undead and demons and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, well, I think I'm happy with that. We'll try it. This is for fun and giggles. And uh, we're ready to start the game. So we'll get the game started before we end this video. Yeah. So here's some I'm important do, like, things. One, tur one turn quickly. You want to do one turn? Well, we'll do that after we we'll pause recording, put this together, and record that. Yeah. Um. Some of these settings I'm not going to mess with. This is the economic settings at the top. Mm. I'm just going to leave those for standard. Down here, though, I think yeah, I I like random events. They're hilarious. So I'm going to turn on the story events to the all story events. Because we're playing by ourselves, I'm going to turn score graphs on. Hall of Fame is how many heroes each nation can have. I'm going to bring that up to 50. 15. These other ones, 15, sorry. <laughs> yep. um, human AI, level, we don't need to worry about that. I'm going to leave the research alone. But we'll set some thrones. So we got, we set for 8 players, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, well let's go for level 3 thrones have really exciting defenders and powerful benefits when you all thrones have usually gems and some other benefits so I'm gonna crank us up to a few more of each kind of throne and then 19 points so I'd like the win to be a little more than half so I'm gonna go with a, you need 11 to win out of 19 cataclysm does that make sense what's yeah what's I don't cataclysm? know what that is I've never seen that before if we enable that, does that mean after a certain amount of time the world is going to blow up? Um, that could be fun. After a certain if. number of turns, a worldwide cataclysm event occurs, forces a pretender to ascend in a few months' time. Oh, it makes the game end um, at a certain number of turns, oh. no matter what happens. I don't so think we want to bother with that. Yeah, maybe whoever's winning just gets to ascend. Whoever's got the most score, whether it's throne points or I don't know, Dominion points or whatever, but yeah, that would cut shorter game. Well, it can be a good thing because they do bog down in the late game. So I'll hit OK, and I'm going to allow renaming because it's always fun. I'll leave the master password off because we don't need that. Cheat protection, yes, and we're ready to go. I don't think we'll cheat since ah, no, not side by side. Yeah, <laughs> and we're playing cooperative, so who are we cheating against? The AI. We don't whoopee. really, yeah, sure, we don't really need the cheap. Alright, well, we'll take a quick look at the map. Setting and then up start positions. Dun, we'll, dun, dun, uh, dun, dun. we'll end this video and uh, come back and play a couple of turns. Hmm. Oh, is there any, um, is there any uh, diplomacy? Well, not with this? you and I. There's no real diplomacy with the AIs. Uh, they don't really work. Play, so, a f play a nation. You want to have a look at your start? You click sure. on, yep. Yeah. Don't hit uh, host because that makes the turn happen. Hmm. And uh, in the beginning, there was chaos. That's that's always what it says. Like, out of chaos, or rose worlds populated with multitudes of beings. Wars were fought, kings and emperors rose and fell in civilizations which were burning. Were built and crumbled as millennia passed. Gods, dark and strange, were <laughs> worshipped and vacant to pagan temples. Still, there was chaos. The gods fought among themselves. <laughs> I would just skip reading yeah, this. Whatever. Anybody could read this. Now the wheel has turned once again. All right. Hit exit you, and we can see your You start. can pause it if you want to read all this. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. All right. Ooh. Fancy. It's quite fancy. The new maps and the new setups are neat. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit stop, mm. and we'll move.